Well, get ready to get the inside scoop on everything from beer to barbecue tonight because it's that time every week when Jennifer Biggs, the food and dining editor for the Daily Memphian, joins us from her own kitchen in East Memphis. All right, Jennifer, let's talk beer first. Uh, you had a story earlier this week about the Cooper Young Beer Fest uh, coming up on October 9th. Talking to organizer Andy Ashby, how many brews will there be to choose from? How much is it going to cost? And how are they handling the concerns about COVID? Right now, they have 34 breweries coming. Each will have, you know, presumably a few beers at least. So there should be, you know, you know maybe 100 or so. Um, and you can you can taste all those. You're not there to drink every beer. It's a tasting, not a not a throwdown. Uh, tickets are $45 if you buy them before September 30th. And here's how they're handling COVID. You can't get in without your vaccine card. So before you buy your ticket, know that you're going to have a vaccine card. Just show at the gate with your ID. Okay, good to know. While we're on the uh, subject, you've been writing a weekly series called Cheers for Beers, uh, profiling a different local brewery. And this week you had a really entertaining story, I'd say, about Hampline. Uh, that's on Tillman near Summer and Broad. Tell us more about that. You know, I really love that brewery. It's a lot of fun to me. Some of them are a much bigger, you know, much, a lot more beer. Hemp one's kind of small, but it's all local people, like most of the breweries are. And it, there's just something fun about it. You're just sort of sitting outside on a green space, you know, with not a lot going on. You're in the middle of a, in a small industrial park, but the beer is fantastic. The guy who is the brewer learned to brew in Germany, and he worked for a lot of places like Sweetwater, Abita, Terrapin, some big brewing companies, you know, microbreweries, but big ones. And he does a great job. It's a lot of fun. I, I just encourage everyone to who likes beer or who may not know they like beer to follow along with this series. We're a little more than halfway through. I wasn't really a beer drinker until I started doing it, and I've had a lot of fun learning about beer. It's like, like learning about wine. It's yeah, we've got a lot of good ones to choose from, too. Well, every Memphian who knows their barbecue knows about Leonard's, the oldest barbecue joint in Memphis. A really heartwarming story about owner Dan Brown and how one of the city's most famous chicken joints swooped in and uh, saved the day. Listen, let me tell you, he is so grateful also to Wendy McCrory and, and Gus's for coming in, for buying Leonard's, which he was going to lose because of COVID. His business just plummeted. I mean, he was like at you know 30% of his pre-COVID levels. And he didn't have anything really to sell. Owed money on the building. She saved him, bought it back in June. And uh, his last day was Sunday. So he wrote a story about his last day. It was a tearful day, uh, not just for people saying goodbye, but for poor Dan. I mean, he he wears his heart on his sleeve, and he was sad to go, but happy about the future, of course. And he'll be back. He'll be back visiting. She gave him a prepaid uh, airline debit card and said, this is just for any time you want to come and visit. Here, here you go. Very good. Well, I only have a few seconds left, but I have to ask you, what is it about Whataburger? Uh, now it's opening a sixth Memphis area location? Isn't that insane? It's just crazy. They're everywhere now. We couldn't get a Whataburger for it. You know, have to drive three hours, and now uh, we'll be able to get them within 10 minutes of where we are just about any place in town. They're going to be in two in South Haven. We've got Collierville, Cordova, Wolf Chase, now Arlington. It, it, let's see. We've been saying we want it for years. We lost them, you know, about 25, 30 years ago. We'll see how much we want them. We'll have plenty of opportunity to find out. <laughs> Well, it sounds like they're banking on Memphians uh, having quite an appetite for their for their special burger. All right, thank you, Jennifer. To read more about all of what we talked about tonight, head on over to thedailymemphian.com, and you'll find those stories on the website. My thanks to Jennifer Biggs, food and dining editor for The Daily Memphian. Uh, we'll see you next time.